Hello, what's up? Ali here. And on this video, I will show you how we can access this toolset and use it to jailbreak our PS3. I strongly recommend to follow this video exactly as it is. Don't skip a step to ensure the success rate of this whole procedure. Let us start with the requirements. What we need is a PS3 that is on a compatible version and model. Keep in mind that you won't be able to install a version that is lower than your current version. Then we need the USB or external hard drive to update our PS3 and install other application and also an internet access. You'll find the links in our description and it will take you to these websites. If you are unsure which version you want to install on your PS3, then go for the latest supported HFW version. Open the link and scroll down a little and here you will find the links to download the file. Now in case uh, we have 4.90 supported, this is where we can find the hybrid firmware for 4.90. Again, open the link on our description, just scroll down a little and uh, you will find the link or you can download uh, the link by clicking on this area. Now for our custom firmware, let us start with the 4.89. You'll find more information on this website. So if you want to know more about the features of this release, just scroll down and read through the features of this custom firmware. And here, you'll find different release for this custom firmware. So again, if you are unsure, just go ahead and click the PEX version. Now if you are going to proceed with the 4.90, again you will find the link on our description. Just scroll down a little to know more about the features. And here you will find the same version for 4.90. We can use a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive as long as it is formatted to FAT32. To know the format, right click on the drive, click on properties, and here on the file system you should see here FAT32. But since this one is XFAT, we have uh, to format this to FAT32. To format an external hard drive, we will need an application called the FAT32 formatter. The link is on our description, just go ahead and download and run the program. To use this application here on the drop down menu, choose here the drive that you want to format to FAT32. First click on this part, then click on initialize, then highlight again on this part, click quick format, then click on start. If your hard drive has an error like this one, that means that your hard drive has a different partition. Even if you are able to format that to FAT32, unfortunately, you still won't be able to use that for your PS3. Your hard drive should be on FAT32 and on MBR partition. To change the partition, we are going to use our command prompt. Press the start button on your PC. Then type in CMD to enter command prompt. And here type in disk part. Then enter. Then from here, let us type in list disk. Here you will see all of the hard drive that is connected to our PC. And the one that we have to change the partition is disk 1. So from here, let's go ahead and type in select disk 1. Now once it's selected, we have uh, to format the hard drive first by typing clean. But before we do that, make sure that you have uh, no important files or data on your hard drive because uh, cleaning the hard drive will reformat the hard drive and uh, will remove uh, all of its content. So if you are currently using your hard drive, make sure you properly back up all of your files first before you format your hard drive. And if you are ready to format the hard drive, just type in clean here press enter now we have successfully formatted the hard drive and from here it is now ready to change the partition and to do that just type in convert mbr so just a short recap type in cmd on the start button then select command prompt then on the command prompt type in disk part and a new window will pop up type in list disk to check all of the hard drive available then uh, select the disk you want to format then you have uh, to clean it first then from there you can go ahead and change uh, the partition to MBR. So right now we have already changed its partition to MBR. So let us go ahead and uh, run our formatter. Now you will see here if we select the hard drive, our formatter can now locate or can now detect the hard drive. That means that this one is already on MBR. Now let's go ahead and format this hard drive. So just click on this part, then initialize, click on OK. Then go ahead and click this one again, click on quick format, then start. You will see that you have successfully formatted the hard drive. 
By the way, to download this application, I have already leave the a link on our comment section and just scroll down a little and click on this area to download that application. Now, once we have prepared the storage, we have to create a folder on the root of our hard drive naming PS3 all capitalized. Then inside this folder PST, we are going to make another folder update again all capitalized. Here on the update folder, we are going to place the update file that we are going to use on our PS3. And make sure that it has this file name, this exact file name, otherwise our PS3 won't recognize the update file. Now once we are good with the update and our external hard drive, let's go ahead and update our PS3. On our PS3, first we have to make sure that our PS3 can detect the USB. You will know that if you can see the USB icon here on the video, or the music, or on the photos. If you don't see the USB device here, it's either your PS3 could not detect your USB or hard drive. So you have to make sure that it's formatted to FAT32 and it has an MBR partition. If you were able to make sure of that and still your PS3 could not detect your USB, then try a different USB port on your PS3 or just try a different USB. And once we have verified that, let's go to the system update and click on update via storage media now if you are getting any issues here like no applicable update has been found or you are already on the latest update or any issues with the update here it is very much advisable to use a safe mode to update your ps3 to use safe mode we have to turn off the ps3 and have a usb cable ready to connect our controller on the ps3 to get to the safe mode of the ps3 here's what we need to do also hopefully you can notice our ps3 here by the way uh, we are using the fat ps3 but uh, it is the same uh, with all the models of the ps3 so here on the standby mode just press and hold the power button hopefully you can hear the beep okay so that is the second beep and wait for the third uh wait for the third beep then it will turn back red and once it's red press and hold the power button again and do wait for the third beep. So that's the first. I'm sorry, so wait for the fourth uh, beep after the second uh, round of uh, the power cycle. Once you are on uh, this part, so all you have to do is uh, just uh, get a USB cable and uh, connect your controller to your PS3. And uh, press the PS button. Choose number six, so just scroll down on your controller and uh, press ok or enter and from here all you have to do is follow the instruction so press and uh, hold the start and select button at the same time and it should start the update after the update it will automatically restart now it is ready to install and exploit on the ps3 but it is highly advisable to install the hybrid firmware twice before we install any exploit and once we are good we can go ahead now and go to the internet browser just to make sure that we are already connected to the internet now here on the browser we just have to make some preparations so press triangle on your controller go to the tools confirm browser close make sure that it is turned to off next on the home page use blank press ok then again back to tools then delete the cookies search history and authentication information once we're good press back and enter the internet browser again so press start on your controller and enter this following address now we can go straight to the psttoolset.com or we can also add the http colon then double slash psd toolset.com then press start and it should take us to the original big tool set and just wait for the host to initialize if you get this uh, red sign fatal uh, memory allocation error occurred that uh, you may have uh, to repeat uh, clearing all of the uh, internet data on your psd or you will have uh, to reboot your ps3 but it is highly advisable if you got any error message there to just reboot your ps3 to avoid any chances of uh, breaking your ps3 so once it initializes and you did not receive any red messages then you can proceed uh, with the whole process so just go to the flash memory manager first we have to back up our flash memory again this is very important because in case uh, uh, something happens and you break your ps3 you will need this original dump to be able to restore your ps3 back 
and uh, to have a backup of your flash click on the flash memory and save flash memory backup and uh, you will be asked here where to save uh, the flash or the dump file so just uh, choose dev uh, usb00 this will save the flash on your usb thumb drive then click on save So once you get this green check and the validity has been completed, you can go ahead and check the health of your dump if it's good to install CFW. And once you have uh, passed the dump check, then we can go ahead now and uh, patch our memory. To do that, first we have to download the patch. Here on the flash memory patch, click here load the patch via HTTPS. This will download the patch that we need on our PS3. So uh, just make sure that the PS3 here is not interrupted uh, while it downloaded the file. Once it's done, just click on close. Then we can now install the patch. Again, let's go back to the flash memory patch and apply the loaded patch this will apply the patch that we have just downloaded after the patch you may go ahead and install uh, the cfw that you prefer and it is highly advisable uh, to do any updates using the safe mode and that uh, if you encounter any issues uh, before you get to this part it is uh, also advisable to just repeat the process from the start to uh, avoid any possible issues and also i would like to remind to have a backup of your original dump file after the patch you just have uh, to restart your ps3 and install cfw but one important note uh, after you install cfw and you want to update uh, to a later version of uh, the cfw you don't have to go through the whole process uh, just go ahead and directly install a cfw so for example you have successfully installed a 4.89 cfw and you want to install 4.90 cfw just download the version and update on top of your 4.89 cfw so this will be it on our video in case you encounter any issues or errors just go ahead and share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and again this is ali if you found this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe and i will definitely see you on our next video bye bye Thank you.